Well, another video of my progress on the bus conversion. Uh, a few things from the outside that I've done is I got the bumper with the new finish to get it nice and black again before it was gray. So it's looking a lot better. Um, hit up the bars here with a little rust-oleum paint to get rid of the little spots of rust on the outside. Also did the same thing for the bottom trim. I still need to take off that rubber uh, to uh, replace with a brand new strip. Got some of the letters off of the outside with acetone. Took me a long time. Got it on the other side too. Hit the wheel wells with some white primer paints. Gonna hit them up with some white gloss. Decided after getting a lot of the letter off that I am going to actually paint the entire bus. I was going to just roll with the green because it kind of grew on me, but now I've decided I'm going to paint this part gray and the front cab red, uh, which is a color motif I've always wanted, and now I'm not going to be lazy and I'm going to do it. So on the inside, show you the work I've done. Um, I might splice together my other uh, earlier video of the insulation underneath, which I got the seams up with reflectix tape. I may be lazy and just post this video. We'll see. Um, kind of mocked up my bathroom with a washer machine pan. It's going to be my basically shower pan. I'm going to drill a hole. This is my composite toilet or camp toilet. So I'll have a tank probably underneath that where the gray water drains into. Not going to have a black water tank, just a gray water. Here's going to be my kitchen area um, with my the water I actually use, the fresh water. So it's all going to be connected to the same system so I don't have to create two different systems. Probably going to have a hose that comes up here where the sink is and then maybe a door that goes through the partition that I'll have for the entire shower area and just slide that um, pump through so I can take a shower and then put it right back where the sink is instead of having to plumb a, a different system. We'll see what I actually do. Um, here I'll also have my two burner camp stove going lengthwise here. The sink here, cutting board, and the sink and back. Um, and put down vinyl plank. I took out all the seats in an earlier video. You saw just one seat up there. I was going to flip them around and make them face each other and have a little dinette here. But the seats come at an angle and I'd have to create storage underneath. So I decided just to get storage cubes. The two cube ones, one here, one there, put a backing on it. Here and there, a table in between, cushion, and make my own seats that way. Instead of using the bus seats, which are right in the dumpster right there. You can see them there. Here I got some couch cushions off the side of the street. I'm going to cut them where they fit into a sectional. And it stops here. So it'll be a C here. And then here I'll have a storage cube. will be my little coffee table. And I'll put a pad on top. And I'll have pretty much a queen size bed here. And when I want to entertain people, it'll be a sectional couch. When I want to go to sleep, I can either sleep on the couch, it's a single, or I can turn it into a full queen size bed in case I have an in company. Oh, yeah. Um, which will probably won't be the case because I live in a bus. Um, but you never know. <laughs> but I like the way the vinyl plank came out. Uh, plywood's underneath, then insulation. Then the vinyl plank, I know it's supposed to be the other way around, but uh, the wood underneath, once again, was not rotted, and um, I'm too lazy to take up that plywood and redo it, and that's just way too much shit. So I, I even put insulation down, which I wasn't going to do. I was just going to put vinyl on top of the plywood, but I decided to do the, somewhat of the right thing and put insulation down. Hopefully it'll... It'll uh, be good in the end, but um, that's where I'm at so far. Need to do the insulation on the sides here, and then I'll use uh, board 
uh, wainscoting board or wainscoting, however you pronounce it, board all the way across on the sides here. Here's a little insulation. I'm going to use the same insulation I have on the floor on the sides. Just strip, strip, um, just little wood planks to hold it in place. And that'll be where I stop is right along this edge here. And when I have more time, I'll finish everything else. But I'll probably be on my trip by then.